in my hand is a luxating elevator. Now this may be a new concept to some of you, but something that you should definitely look into and definitely consider trying. What this is, is kind of a hybrid instrument. It's able to be used like a luxator and it's able to be used as an elevator. Now luxators are thinner edged instruments that can be used to be forced apically down the long axis of a tooth to help to free it from the PDL and displace it from the socket. So this can be used in all areas of the mouth, working it vertically alongside the tooth. Now that's a terrific advantage to have because you can use one instrument to do that motion as well as use it as your typical elevator on your mesial or distal aspects of your teeth. So this is a two-in-one instrument. It has become my go-to instrument for just about every tooth in the mouth. Now this would be basically my 301 elevator if you will, but it saves me having to pick up a separate instrument to get down into those tighter spaces. These come in all different sizes, so you can get a 2 millimeter width, 3 millimeter, 4 millimeter, might even go up to a 5, and I don't remember, but at least to a 4 millimeter, it's just a wider tip. The 3 is kind of right in between, it's good for retrieving root tips, it's good for elevating, it's good for luxating, it's a multi-purpose tool. The black coating on it keeps it sharp and helps it to be a little bit more slippery and also provides some contrast and blocking of the light when the light is shining into a socket and you might be working on a root tip. So those are all things about this instrument. Luxators are terrific tools that you can implement into your practice. They come in all shapes and sizes, might even have some curves or bends on the end of them. These are all basically used the same way. It gives you another way to attack a tooth when elevation alone maybe isn't working for you. So the other thing about this is that we can use this, whoops, <laughs> we can use this in combination with our 700 burr. So I have the 700 surgical burr, which is very, very thin. You could use a 701. Some people prefer the 701. 702 is getting a little bit large, but the 700 or 701 basically punch down to the tip of the flutes, maybe a little deeper along a root, will allow you to slip this luxator down apically along the root surface, and you can then have a perfect purchase point. It really just kind of pressure fits between the tooth and the bone and allows you to really work that root tip to get it loose. So it's an excellent pairing with that 700 or 701 burr. It's a very useful tool, like I said, for just about any situation. If you haven't tried a luxating elevator, consider getting one, trying it. If you don't like it, that's fine, but I'm pretty sure you're going to get used to it and you're going to prefer these over your standard elevators.